Hey Collective. All right, let's see. Hey Collective, it's Girl Mermaid Prophetess bringing you another collective reading. Let's see what's going on. Okay. Sheesh. Let's see what is going on, you guys, because these cards are just not playing today. Okay, you guys. Okay, we have Servant. We have an Alchemist in Reverse. And we have an artist. Okay. This is definitely giving me... There's some kind of backfire that happened here with an alchemist. Somebody thought that they were whipping something up. Divine Feminine, this could be about you. This could be towards a Divine Masculine. Somebody thought that they were whipping something up. I don't know why I'm getting whipping. Like somebody was cooking up something in the kitchen. Okay, there could be a kitchen witch involved here. Somebody's here creating information, okay? Somebody's using talent as an excuse to mistreat others, posing as the starving artist to elicit pity. So there is an occultist that is going through it that needs help with an alchemist in reverse and an artist, okay? Somebody, something backfired with who this alchemist tried to go after, or something like that. With this servant card here, it talks about using the lack of money as an excuse to not move forward with life. There's like a desperate alchemist who couldn't... Okay, this person could also be a thief. This could even be a group of people that's trying to manipulate a divine feminine success. We have Messiah in reverse. We have Mentor in reverse. It's like somebody introduced someone to something really dark. Okay. With, okay, we have the mentor in reverse, we got Messiah in reverse, and we have the father here. So definitely giving me a parental figure here. This father card talks about dictatorial control, abuse of authority. There could be a karmic mother, a karmic father. There could even be a warlock involved here. Somebody's highly manipulative. This is somebody who's been able to get away with a lot of manipulation. Somebody's used to being able to manipulate a divine masculine into serving them. Yeah. Especially with this trio here. I mean, look at it. We have a servant, artist, alchemist in reverse. There is a divine masculine who normally serves the needs of a karmic attachment or something like that. There could be a karmic mother or father involved here. This masculine, it's like he follows what somebody says. Whoever this divine masculine is, this is a masculine divine feminine. You could feel like he don't have a mind of his own. We got mentor in reverse. We got Messiah in reverse. Somebody here don't know God or is being rejected by an entity that they pray to, that they serve, some sort of a cultist or something like that. Somebody was leading someone astray here. There is um, whoever this alchemist is, I don't know why I keep feeling like there could be a divine masculine who has an alchemist, um, an occultist in his family or something like that. Somebody's studying how to whip up spells or something like that. This person is dealing with a major backfire with mentor and messiah in reverse. Somebody did something wrong here. This is backfired on them. Child, I cannot. What is going on here? Okay. Let's see uh, what is going on. Let's see what is going on because they already cranking up. They already cranking up. Okay. Let's see. So whoever this occultist is, something isn't working for them. Whoever this manipulator here, this is somebody who feel like they are able to manipulate a divine masculine or manipulate a divine feminine. This is somebody who could be very cocky. They feel like they could manipulate energy. This is somebody who could even run to spell work or run to some form of manipulation here. This could even be a pathological liar, especially with the artist here. Or somebody could have lied and said you did spell work on them divine feminine. With this artist and alchemist in reverse, there could be glamour spells here, beauty spells. Somebody could be having strange outbreaks, strange things going on with your skin, strange things happening. You're not feeling right. You're not feeling yourself. Somebody could be attacking your looks. 
I don't know why I want to say somebody's attacking your skin. Okay, on the bottom, we got this Jupiter energy on the top. It says learn and teach. Somebody's learning spell work. Child, I cannot. There, there could be multiple people here that was studying something. Somebody's in over their head. Child, what else? <laughs> okay. <laughs> what else, you guys? This is for my beautiful divine feminines, divine masculine. Make sure y'all take what resonates and discard the rest. Energy can be past, present, or future. Let's see uh, what is going on. Okay, we have spiritual values, long range thinking or travel. What is to be shared? We have the ninth house. Do it in a big way. That is in reverse. Somebody, I'm t didn't I just say somebody, it was in over their head. Look at how this is in reverse. Okay, do it in a big way. This is in reverse. Somebody's in over their head. Spiritual values, long range thinking. Somebody went too far. We got this Saturn energy. Saturn return could be significant here. Caution regarding. There's a warning here. Limits impose maturity that brings. Somebody here was in over their head doing too much in the kitchen. And they got hit with this Saturn energy. Okay, come through. We got Virgo energy here. Somebody's analyzing some kind of spell, some kind of manipulation. Something's being analyzed here with this Virgo energy. Methods for healing, the power of. Look at this. Met somebody needs help. There is whoever this, man there could be a master manipulator here involved. There could be multiple. These people want help now because somebody's looking into them. Somebody thought they got away with something in the past. Something is coming back to somebody, especially with this Saturn energy. We talking about major backfires. Somebody behaved very irresponsible, doing anything for power and status. Divine Feminine, somebody felt like you challenged their position, their status, and this person, it's like somebody went really far here. Somebody's researching how to recover. Now is not the time to somebody ignoring a warning. Divine Feminine, you could have warned these people. You could have warned the Divine Masculine. Okay. Come through, Spirit. <laughs> Come through. South Node Energy on that. Remember, what just fell in my hand? Come. If you guys just seen how this just fell in my hand and like turned over on its own. We got the first house. Aries Energy. Immediately. Baby, something is an emergency. The way you project yourself. There could be projection spells. Do it on your own. Okay. <laughs> Somebody got fucked up. Okay. <laughs> Taurus energy on the bottom. Aries Taurus energy. There's an emperor involved. Okay. Ugh, eyes. Oh my goodness. What's going on with my eye? It's like something is in there. Taurus Aries energy. Definitely giving me emperor energy. There's an emperor that's in over his head. This divine masculine wants to do something immediately. Immediately. Rushing. Panicking. People are panicking here about something that's after something was analyzed. Resources to maintain. We got Taurus energy here. There's a divine masculine panicking looking for his resources. Somebody could have gotten robbed. Bamboozled is what I want to say. Okay, come through spirit. What is going on? Let's see. Let's see. A second. Let's see. Somebody was bamboozled. This divine masculine, he could have, oh, somebody could have been very selfish. Very critical. This what this divine masculine is. He could have even been critical about your beliefs, divine feminine, or something you wanted him to believe. There was something you wanted this divine masculine to reconsider or believe. And it's like this divine masculine made it seem like uh, you just made something up or something like that. Something is a major deflection here. Oh, the backfire for what happened in the past is here with that Saturn energy. Caution, there are limits imposed here. Somebody don't know what to do. There's an occultist that don't know what to do. There are people looking for help. Somebody wanted a divine masculine to serve them or has always been able to get a masculine to serve them with spell work. When it's serving an alchemist in reverse, somebody tried to use this on you. 
Oh, wow. Mm. Okay. Some of you divine feminines, you could feel like your divine masculine put a spell on you. You could feel like he's doing work on you. And that is the case. There's a divine masculine that's being mentored by somebody who serves other gods with mentor in reverse, Messiah in reverse. Look at it. Okay? Mentor, Messiah in reverse. For some of you divine feminines, mm, this is going to sound, wow. Okay, I've never gotten this before. For some of you divine feminines, there is, an, a, there is a master manipulator here, okay? This is somebody who could study the dark arts because there's a dark cultist here. So there's definitely a dark master manipulator here. This person, it's like they are doing chaotic energy manipulation to get a divine masculine to serve them, to get you to serve a masculine, but in despair for you to, it's like somebody wanted to turn you into a beggar, a beggar for love. Somebody wants you, okay, damn. All right, this is, this is crazy. Divine feminine, this is like, this occultist is in over her head. There's too many, I don't know, I'm just getting, like what I'm seeing is like, like lightning rods, like this way, that way, this way, that way, things over, like over crossing, like things crossing over things. Somebody crossed the line here. This is like, whoever this dark occultist is or this master manipulator, or this person that's manipulating, um, Energy, somebody's doing spell work here in some way, shape, or fashion. Whether it's through the tongue, through the chanting, but somebody's cooking something up here, whipping something up and serving this. Somebody's feeding someone something here. There's a, somebody was fed something here. Look at this. We got an alchemist in reverse. Look at this woman with this bowl in her hand. This is to make somebody up the way that they want them to be made up as. With this artist energy, mentor in reverse, this person could not be a leader. Okay. Whew. So much. <laughs> okay, so much. And we only got what? Uh, 10 cards on the table. Okay, my eye. Oh my goodness. Somebody feel like their vision is cut off. Somebody only saw halfway. Come through spirit. Okay. Limits imposed with this Saturn energy. They only saw halfway. I'm telling you guys, like I can barely see out of my right eye right now. Okay. Whoever this uh, alchemist is, this uh, occultist, this, this person that was manipulating energy, this person that felt like they got a trick up their sleeve so this masculine can always serve them. This person is working with somebody else who likes to narrate stories. Stories about you, somebody here could have accused you of doing something to them. But back to this, everything is bothering me. This is getting ridiculous, my eye, my ear. Okay. Somebody wanted a divine feminine. Wanted it, this karmic occultist and this karmic narrator, karmic mother here, karmic father here, or even a not so divine masculine. Somebody's doing spell work for a divine feminine to turn into a beggar. For you to desperately want um, a situation divine feminine or a, con a divine contract that's been voided or, uh, or a karmic contract. Or for you to just be desperate but never get what you want out of a contract. For some of you divine feminines, this is your divine counterpart and this is your divine contract but there is a karmic attachment here who's a alchemist there's a narrator here there are people who serve other gods here 
It's like they already are doing spell work for this divine masculine to be their servant. Somebody's feeding a masculine something here. Even giving money or somebody could be manipulated with money. This person, whoever this alchemist is, it's like they're also trying to put, like they're projecting, come through spirit with that first house energy, the way you project yourself. They, somebody was intimidated by the energy you stand in, the vibe feminine. The way you stand. So you could have been standing in this emperor energy even as a divine feminine. With that Aries Taurus energy that came out. There could be a cusper involved. The way you project yourself, the way you do it on your own. You've been through a lot. You've accomplished a lot. You bounced back from situations nobody thought you would ever um, bounce back from. People put limits on you, but you've broken down those doors and you have more doors to break down. You leave people in regret. Even if in that moment, Divine Feminine, they don't regret how they handle you, they regret it later. They later figure out that they were in their South. No, they're always reconsidering. You're always being brought up here. Somebody's bringing your name up here. Somebody could be calling somebody out for being immature. Because with this Saturn energy, we're talking about maturity and limits that are being imposed. Somebody don't want somebody to say anything anymore. Okay. It's like these, whoever these karmic um, attachments are, they're just so nasty. This dark occultist, like to be sitting here doing, so you're doing work to get for a masculine to feel like he always needs to serve you or, and then doing work towards a divine feminine to try to project this energy of desperation, but failure divine feminine. Sheesh, the way these cards came out. We got the king in reverse and I just said failure come through we got the king in reverse and we have control reversal is literally printed on the card control of fortune reversal and this king card in reverse is a ace of swords straight up the truth is bringing down a karmic masculine a karmic masculine is going down Somebody wanted to have control over money or something like that, over energy, control over everything. They took a risk, come through spirit, with the gambler in reverse. <laughs> Look at that. Double confirmation, the botanist. We're talking about an alchemist, the botanist in reverse. This botanist card also talks about parenthood, legacy in reverse. There's a karmic mother or karmic father figure involved here. We got a spy master here. Child, come through. There's karmic masculine going down. Somebody's gonna have to walk something back. Okay. Somebody's gonna have to walk something back. Okay, let's put that here. The truth is about to bring down a kingdom, a group of people that feel like they can't be touched, a group of karmics. Child, we 20 minutes in. We ain't even like, I don't know. We don't even have no cards on the table, child. We at 10, 11. Let's see. What else? What else, Spirit? What else? Are they playing? <laughs> they playing. Vengeance is mine. Come through, Spirit. We got vengeance. The thief in reverse. Didn't I tell you there was a thief, Divine Feminine? What I told you. The thief in reverse. Vengeance here. Somebody trying to take something from you, Divine Feminine. There's a karmic masculine or a, this could just be that parent energy. This dark occultist who felt like they had control, this could be a karmic mother who's into the occult with the karmic lover here. Somebody's always getting this masculine to do what they want. This person, somebody's losing control here. And, they're, and this spell work is backfiring. Somebody wanted to take something from you and now vengeance is yours. This vengeance card talks about overcoming slights. Okay? A choice somebody made. A choice this thief made. Seizing the moment. Selfish. Somebody was selfish. You could have saw this divine masculine is selfish. He could be dealing with karma here. People, vengeance is yours, divine feminine, and you didn't even have to move. The most high has moved for you. A thief is being exposed. Okay. 
We saw that Taurus energy, that second house energy. Somebody stole something out of somebody's house. Divine Feminine, you could feel like somebody stole something out your house. Something is missing from the past. And you could have been wondering, like, where this came from? Where, like, where did this go? Who stole my information? Spiritually, you were enlightened about somebody trying to take something from you. Your essence, your beauty, your energy, your inheritance, your gifts. The truth is here. And vengeance is yours. There's a victory here, Divine Feminine. Okay, what's this karma about? Caution regarding somebody was warned to not take something from you, to not mess with you. Somebody tried to tie you to like a, an energy of desperation and failure. Oh, they're getting major backfires. Come through. They would never try to put a divine feminine in something like that. Okay, too many. Let's see. Look at that. We have the musician, inspiration, the champion, achievement, and downfall, crossroads. Somebody don't know what to do. Come through this champion card, what it talks about, achievements and downfall. This musician card talks about influence, inspiration. Come through. This, this cartographic card talks about crossroads, two of swords, energy. Somebody was warned. So it's like somebody thought that they were on a high horse. Now they've achieved their downfall. This divine master, he could be going through a downfall right now because we saw that he was trying to hold on to resources. There are people at the crossroad right now. Somebody didn't follow wise, like some wise um, advice here. Okay. You could have warned this divine masculine. Child, let's see. Let's see. Let's see what's this. Let's see what is going on. Whoever this alchemist is, she is like, this person is mad. I can't tell you how mad they are. Look at that. We have anger. This alchemist is pissed off. This person can't believe that this is gone this way. Could even be this divine masculine is angry too. Ooh, somebody's off of their high horse. What a reversal. Let's see. Tell me about this servant energy. What's going on? What's going on? Too many cards. We got secrets, children, and business. Ooh. Somebody could have been trying to get into your business about your children, Divine Feminine. Or there's like a secret child somewhere. Or there's secrets involving a child here. Or something like that. We got fluidity here as well. There could be family secrets from the childhood. From some, from a Divine Masculine's childhood. Somebody's in someone's business. Somebody was ordered to go look somebody's situation up. Divine Feminine, somebody could have been trying to find out your business here. Okay? Look at that. We got business, secrets, and children. Somebody's talking about your children, Divine Feminine, or something about the past. Your childhood. What is family secrets here? Something is changing. All right. All right, let's actually get a card for this. Come through, Spirit. What's going on with this serving energy? Somebody's always serving somebody here. There's a, a cultist that thought that they could turn a divine feminine into a, a beggar. There's a divine mass that's waking up, finding out that he has just been nothing but a servant here or something like that. What is going on? We got relocation. We got fluidity, relocation, and the wheel here. There's a contract here. Okay, with the wheel, contracts, Phoenix, transformation, death underneath, Scorpio energy, more transformation. Scorpio, Aquarius, Leo, Taurus energy. There's a contract that changed. There was a change in a contract. It's like Divine Feminine with fluidity being here. I feel like Divine Feminine, there's a change in your contracts to to be more smooth. 
relocation. There's a change here. There's a divine masculine that's changing up on someone who thought that they had control of him. There's a karmic contract that's changing here as well. Okay. Let's see. Come through. Something's going to be a lot easier for you moving forward, divine feminine. Yeah, somebody tried to change your conference. Some of you divine feminines, there is a um, not so divine masculine that's a warlock or did try to do some kind of spell or something like that. For others of you, this divine masculine has karmic attachments that literally tried to manipulate your destiny in contracts. Something was moved. Somebody thought you were somewhere and you weren't there. Somebody was ordered to give you something. Somebody could have even tried to mess with your food, your product, something in your home, but you moved. There's secrets here. Somebody wants to, it's like trying to find out about your abundance. Cut through. We got abundance and secrets. This is giving me somebody could have been digging through somebody's home or through somebody's financial status or something like that. Somebody wants to know how you do what you do. There is a divine masculine who could find out that he's being used or somebody has contracts in someone's name. There could be identity theft here. Somebody's changing a will or something like that. Somebody was researching information about where you used to live, where you used to be or something like that, divine feminine. There's a divine masculine here that's changing. There's a karmic contract that's changing. There's a turning point. Come through. What else is going on? Yeah, something's changing. They don't even recognize this masculine anymore. There's a divine masculine that feels like he don't fit in. It's like he could be finding out that a spell is breaking here. It's like somebody's not, uh, can't be manipulated here. Divine feminine, you could feel like you never fit in with these people. It's like somebody wanted you to serve their needs here or something, or somebody literally just wanted you to be a beggar. This is somebody, somebody who tried to manipulate your finances, the way you project yourself. This person was warned to not do this, to not man try to manipulate your contracts. Now there is a change here. Somebody's turning into a beggar now. They didn't know that you were an alien. There could be um, a divine masculine that um, likes to hang out or something like that. It's like now he feels alienated. It's like his masculine is finding out that he's uh, being manipulated by master manipulators or something like that. I don't know why I want to say it was cool when we were manipulating other people. There's a divine masculine here who knows that somebody here is a manipulator or knows that this person is an occultist or has a has good reason to believe so. This masculine could have been warned. And now he feels alienated. This masculine could be finding out that somebody was putting things in his name or something like that. And whoever this is that was trying to turn a divine feminine into like a beggar with this desperate failure energy, they're finding out that you're an alien. And that what they do to others, they can't do to you. Child, you're a champion here. Somebody achieved their downfall. What's the alchemist in reverse? I cannot. Let's see. We 30 minutes in. What else? Sheesh. I'm trying to take... What did I say, Divine Feminine? with this alchemist in reverse. Didn't I say that this person was doing love spells? what I say? Love offer in reverse. Alchemist in reverse, come through spirit. <laughs> come through. what I say? It's a love spells. It's not working. We got boredom. Something is changing. There's a divine masculine that won't serve somebody's needs anymore because he's waking up. He's trying to hang on to resources. Vengeance is mine. There's a divine masculine that wants vengeance? Okay. 
So this alchemist did some kind of spell work for some kind of love offer, but something is is backfiring. It's gonna be even be sex magic or something like that. Yeah, they were manipulating for this. This person is pissed. What I say? What I say? Something ain't working. Come, come through spirit. <laughs> when I say come through spirit, higher power, protect it. Then I say something isn't working. Look at this. Look at this. We got this mountain energy. We got this chaos energy. Didn't I say divine feminine? Come through spirit. Oh, we are in there. We tapped in. Okay. Didn't I say if the energy was coming in like lightning bolts going in different directions, just crossing over each other? It's chaotic. It's chaotic. Mountain energy is challenging. This alchemist. Okay. Whoever this occultist is. The backfire for this chaotic spell work that they did. Oh, they could not. They can't. They could never imagine that this would come like this. Somebody was doing spell is doing work, and this is backfiring in a major way to delay a reconciliation. Okay, for a divine feminine and a divine masculine come through. They wanted to delay a reconciliation here. But the most high God, higher power, vengeance is mine. Okay. Okay. There's a change, there's a change in divine contracts here. There's a divine masculine that has to go through Saturn, that Saturn energy. Because he was even doing too much. He achieved his downfall. Because this masculine ignored a warning. There were limits imposed here. And now somebody's stolen something here. God is making changes in your divine contracts, divine feminine. And all these people, vengeance is yours. Come through. Okay? Mentor in reverse. Messiah in reverse. These people were believing, praying to, going to other gods. They're being rejected here. Somebody's researching how to heal. How to heal. Come through. What's going on over there? Mentor in reverse? Yeah, they're burnt out. I'm trying to tell you. We got burnt out. Time off. Somebody's being forced to sit down. They're not partying anymore. See, they were partying when they were manifesting on you, Divine Feminine. Manifestation, celebration. But we got the world card here. This was wrapped up, baby. Wrapped up in a boat. It was all funny then. Right? <laughs> they party while manifesting, doing all of this manipulation. Okay. Somebody is unheard or something like that. With burnt out and time off, it's like they're doing, it's like there's a spell that burnt out here. Somebody keeps doing the same thing. This whatever whatever this is that they're manifesting against a divine feminine. Even against this divine medicine, somebody time is, is done. Limits have been imposed here. They're being set down. They've achieved their downfall. This divine masculine losing resources here. He's being set down. Now he's at the crossroads thinking about what has inspired him. Ooh, we come through. They're burnt out. Come through. Let's see. Let's see. 36 minutes in. Ooh. Let's see. Jeez, four swords and the five of staffs. I'm telling you, like, major conflict is being laid to rest. A group of jealous people are being laid down here. Okay, there are challenges here. Whoever this karmic attachment is, this would be a karmic lover that was doing some kind of work to manipulate a divine masculine. There's a lot of arguments and fights going on here. Or this between a divine masculine and another karmic attachment. Karmic feminine, karmic friend. There's a karmic masculine here who's exposed as a thief or something like that. Divine feminine vengeance is yours on all of these people. Whew. 
for that high power to come through. Let's see. Let's see. Something's being analyzed. Somebody's trying to figure out how to heal themselves. Immediately, there's an emergency. There's a thief who's being tracked down. Somebody who did something very deceptive has an emergency. Okay. What's going on with this emergency? What they need? Yeah, they were playing games. Somebody did anything to win. Anything to win a cup of love and a love offer. I'm trying to tell you, same energy. Come through. Okay. Whew. Let's spread these cards out. Same energy. Come through. Let's spread these out. Look at that. Look at that. An alchemist and a love offer. Don't forget, these are both in reverse. Somebody doing spell work to make sure you don't get a love offer as well here, Divine Femme. They were doing chaotic spell work to cause delays, to bring you delays in life, even in your abundance. Abundance in love, abundance in wealth, abundance in protection and health. Spell work to try to slow this down, manipulate your energy here. Like I said, they even went as low as doing beauty spells on a Divine Feminine. Talk about jealousy. This person, somebody was so desperate. Karmic lovers so desperate about getting a love offer, wanting to do everything to win, anything to win. Ace of Cups, Six of Wands. Look at that. Five of Swords to the King of Cups. Anything to get this masculine, anything to get this divine masculine. Five of Swords, anything to win. Same energy with the alchemist in reverse and the love offer in reverse. Anything to get this. They wanted to put an end to something that was coming your way. Divine Feminine, you could have spoke the truth about this. Ace of Swords, Knight of Cups to the Death, Scorpio Energy. You spoke the truth about this. Yeah. This is what somebody was looking into. Somebody, it's like somebody was... There, who, okay, there could be multiple people that was practicing here or multiple people involved in this manipulation or in this spell work. And they were researching, analyzing how to do this spell work. Something got out of control. Somebody got addicted to being a master manipulator. Something, somebody's in over their head. So they were looking into how to be successful in getting a love offer. That's what we're clarifying what they were analyzing. And they were willing to do anything for it. Five of Swords. They were so jealous. And all, they ended up losing control here. Some, uh, they, somebody knows that someone is a thief. And they they want what's theirs. Divine Fanny, somebody stole something from you, vengeance is yours. Or this divine masculine is finding out that a karmic masculine stole something from him. There's a secret here. Pisces energy just saw the high priestess. Let's see. Six of cups. Something in the past. A thief is exposed here. Like I said. Six of cups and the queen of coins. Clarifying the thief in reverse. Okay. Somebody stole something from you, Divine Fence. Somebody stole something from a home. This could be money. Or just something valuable that went missing. Queen of Coins, four of staffs, four of wands here. Six of coins. Somebody came in, came out. Somebody stole something in the past and this is coming out. Or something deceptive. Somebody paid somebody to do something to someone's home. could even be a lie from the past. Somebody's desperate now. They won't help. Somebody don't know what to do. They need immediate help because something is being brought back up. The thief in reverse. Somebody's deception is exposed here from the past. Six of Cups. What's Six of Cups? What else is going on, child? Oh, we about to find out. Somebody who lost control. This person is burdened. They don't know what to do. Emperor in reverse. Whew. There's a karmic masculine who was being deceptive in the past. Come through, spirit. Karmic masculine being deceptive in the past. Something he did. Something he did about a past life 
lover or this could be in the past or even the recent past because this six of cups this could talk about a past life soulmate aries energy that's that aries taurus energy we already seen we got a king who lost control double confirmation with the king in reverse who lost control of their fortune or good fortune or good luck whoever this karmic masculine is he could always get away with everything could have been called him out divine feminine this person lost control now this person is burdened. Ten of wands, two of coins. Somebody needs some money. Somebody need a loan. There needs to be a masculine here who needs a loan now. Because he's been robbed right up underneath his nose or something like that. Somebody's reconsidering their um, alliances here. Come through. Let's see. What else is going on? We 43 minutes in. My God. <laughs> what else? Didn't I say somebody's reconsidering their alliances? Come through. Three of cups upright, two of cups in reverse, four of cups. These people were celebrating. This emperor was so Okay, so this divine masculine is finding out that this emperor in reverse, a karmic masculine, was working with third-party karmic energies here. Three of cups, three of cups, two of cups. He was celebrating. This is why man is finding out that this karmic masculine was a part of this group that wanted divine feminine to be rejected. Four of cups. Three of stairs. They were just waiting, sitting back, waiting. They wanted this to be. It's like they knew that they had did all of this. They knew about all of this spell work, this manipulation, master manipulators, lies. They knew. It's like this masculine could have been like a puppy in front of these people serving them. Serving their needs? Divine Feminine, you could have felt like this masculine was more concerned with serving these karmic attachments' needs as opposed to serving your needs. Okay. Hunter's fair. <laughs> Higher power. Vengeance is Divine Feminine. There's major bounce back. Somebody's in trouble. There's desperation here, child. Somebody's trying to heal themselves. Somebody's been abandoned by their gods? They're burnt out. They were, it was all fun when they were celebrating, manifesting delays on a reconciliation, manifesting delays in your life to find feminine in your abundance, sending chaotic energy, challenges. You could have been experiencing one challenge after another, after another. It's so chaotic. It's one thing, one thing, one thing. You could have felt like you didn't know if you were coming or going. Somebody, something is chaotic. This divine union could have ultimately became very chaotic. Some divine feminine, you could have just moved or just moved away from these people. Contra. Vengeance. Overcoming slights. This is why masculine is learning a lesson. South node. He's remembering the past. Now he's getting karma. Could have told him he was going to get karma. He achieved his downfall. Thought the grass was greener on the other side. And now all of these people are going through hell. Child, I cannot. What else? The Empress. We got the Emperor in We got, I said the Emperor in reverse. Emperor in reverse over there. We got the Empress. Taurus, Libra energy. And we have the Fool in reverse. Come through, Spirit. Gemini, Aries. Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Scorpio, Aquarius, Sagittarius energy. The Wheel of Fortune. The Fool in reverse. And the Empress. Let me tell through spirit five of cups regret page of coins they got the message that they would regret this they got the message that they would regret this okay somebody was warned to not do not take this risk Messing with Divine Feminine's contracts. Wheel of Fortune. The Fool in Reverse talks about not taking a risk. The Empress. Don't take this risk. Five of Wands. They were warned. Spiritually. What? Come through spirit. The Tower in Reverse. It would backfire, baby. Pisces Energy. You know what I'm getting in my head? I, it's like the song is playing in my head on uh, Nicki Minaj's uh, Pink Friday 2 album. The song is called Falling For You. There's a line, there, okay. Like this is what I'm getting, especially with this warning. Cause Divine Feminine, 
These people were warned. There were limits imposed. Limits imposed. Caution regarding full in reverse. Do not mess with the Empress. You would dread that. Five of Cups, Page of Coins. They got the message. They got the message in real time. Okay, I'm, I'm like telling that falling for you song. And, it, and there's a part where Nikki is like, um, picture not listening when I said you would dread that. Picture you in, picture not listening when I said you would dread that. I mean, locks hoe, use a chop hoe. I'm number one, y'all go argue over top four. Clean, sweet, you getting mocked hoe. Okay, <laughs> Page of coins, they regret that. They were warned, so warned that they would shift their entire destiny if they messed with you. Come through. Oh, yes, most high God. Higher power, vengeance. Vengeance is yours, divine feminine. I am here. They were warned that they would dread that. Picture not listening. Okay. <laughs> oh goodness, I'm number one. Y'all go argue over top four. Oh. So there could be three to four other karmic attachments here. And they all get in Okay, come through, spirit. Vengeance is yours, divine family. I'm so here for these. What? This reading is coming out different. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Somebody achieved their downfall. I'm trying to tell you, divine family, they're under judgment, baby. Ace of Wands judgment? Scorpio Sagittarius energy, baby. They are under judgment. They achieved their downfall. They were warned. Okay. For this energy to come out like this, Divine Feminine, somebody could have even tried to make you sick. Because we're talking about beggar energy, challenges, difficulties, losing your home, unpredictable events, losing your job, delays in life, delays in all your contracts. Somebody could have even stole your identity here. Somebody, this could even be somebody putting spell work around your house, trying to send you things. Somebody didn't want you to make it to any of your contracts. Make it to, make it somewhere? What? Okay. Yeah. Somebody wanted you to be easily defeated, for you to be crushed under mountains? That you, so that you could never persevere, Divine Feminine. Okay. They wanted you to always be met with an opposing force. You kind of start to feel like this Divine Masculine was always against you, Divine Feminine. Always. Like it's just something became very chaotic. Anytime he was supposed to come through with something, it was always a delay, a reason. You could have felt like he was serving everybody's needs except for yours. Oddly enough, except for his own needs when it comes to true inner healing. Because he's serving, like, this man could have been serving other gods by proxy. Just by way of somehow being a part of this. For some divine feminists, this masculine is not so divine masculine. He done did spell work on you. And now he's getting karma. Child, karma is here. And it's here turning around this chaotic spell work, these challenges, these delays. There's an alchemist. They need help. Child, they under judgment. Ace of stats in reverse. Somebody's life is a wash and repeat. They wanted you to achieve nothing but your downfall for you to be a beggar. And now their life is a wash and repeat. Ace of stats in reverse. Judgment. They're under repetitive judgment. Somebody's under constant judgment. Everything is blocked. Seven of wands. They wanted everything to be blocked for you. Opposing forces. Come through. Now they're under judgment. <laughs> Even in the masculine going under judgment, child. What is going on? What else? That's what they get. Let's see. What's going on, spirit? What else? We got seven of cups and a seven of swords. Somebody is confused that this is not working. They don't even understand how this is not working. They sent all this energy. They thought this was supposed to get you. They forgot about this person right here, though. Right? Higher power. They forgot about the most high God. Something was struck in the middle of the air. They could have, somebody could have did spell work on you seven times. 
Divine Femme. Oh, what I just got. Seven of Swords, Seven of Cups. Somebody's trying to send a spirit of confusion, chaos. This is even, this is still chaos. And once all this energy going into the Seven of Cups, into confusion, these ones don't know where they're going. Seven of Swords, all this chaotic energy has backfired. But God, but God, vengeance is yours. Vengeance is yours. Something turned around. Eight of Wands also talks about a, a quick change. This all backfired. Somebody is mad that they joined in on, a, on trying to manipulate you. Somebody wanted you to be pushed away, forced away. They wanted you blocked, but they even wanted to block your path to your, okay, this is what I was picking up on earlier. Whew. This reading, you guys, has more challenging, like more channeling um, than cards, okay? But we, we getting through it. This is what I was picking up earlier. This strange occultist. Not only did this um, karmic occultist, and there's like a mother-daughter dynamic here for some of you guys, a mother-sister and lover dynamic here, or something like, hmm. That can even be a mother or sister. Like, somebody is so possessive of a divine master and they wanted him to always serve him. That's like family secrets or something like that. Like, there's something strange going on over there, divine family. Take it how it resonates. Okay. Not only did they want to manipulate this contract and cause a lot of chaos and challenges, divine family, y'all, you and this master could have been arguing a lot. This is chaos. Mountains, chaos. Every, every bump towards the end of this union, every bump turned into an explosive argument. Everything became a challenge. Things that were simple became a challenge. Everything became heavy. And then on top of that, you were facing delays here, delays here, delays here, challenges. This masculine is not doing anything to make this better. He's adding to it because he's serving them and not serving this union. He's serving other people. Even when Divine Feminine, you were moving on here. Six of Swords, you're moving on. Knight of Coins, there's too many delays. Knight of Coins to the Knight of Wands. You're tired of fighting by yourself. While this masculine is in this Knight of Staff, Ten of Swords in reverse, constantly, like, it's like this masculine is like, comes through as if there's going to be something that is made better, that is fixed or something like that. And then it just starts over again. Divine Femme, you could have felt like you were trapped in a circle with the Eight of Swords here. This is like, like you could have felt like, like even like just even articulating this. I'm like losing it here because you could have felt like you don't understand. Like everything doesn't have to be an argument. Everything doesn't have to be an issue. Everything doesn't have to be chaotic. Every like, why is this so hard all of a sudden? Even when you decide to move forward with your life, Divine Feminine, Six of Swords, Seven of Wands, these people were still, this dark coat is here, still sending blockages your way. Somebody didn't even want you to move in and move on in peace with that Eight of Swords here. Somebody wanted you to stay like in a state of desperation, begging and fighting for something to work until you would break your body down. Nine of coins, I'm telling you, Divine Feminine, they were trying to block you from being independent, successful in this pre-empress energy. Loving on you, choosing you. They still, they wanted to block that. They wanted to hold you back from that hangman energy. This is what they wanted. These people are sick. They're sick. One more there. They are sick. We 56 minutes in. What else? Yeah, the ace of swords to what they were doing behind the scenes. I'm trying to tell you, Divine Feminine. Look at that. Ace of swords to the moon. Pisces, Cancer, Energy. Queen of Stab. That could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius involved. What this person was doing behind the scenes, there is an occultist that is exposed. And this person needs help. Somebody is desperate for help right now. 
with his queen of staffs energy and his devil in reverse. Big Capricorn energy. Leo energy here as well. Aquarius energy here. Somebody is trying to heal. There's a divine masculine that is trying to heal and it's not working. Three of swords to the star. This masculine wants to heal. The truth is here. And somebody didn't want divine feminine to heal, but you healed anyway. There'll be a star seed involved here. When I say the truth was revealed, what's done in the dark comes to light, baby. It was revealed. Somebody need help. They're desperate now. They're desperate. Child, this reading is all over the place. <laughs> when I say it's all over the place, let's see. What else is going on? I'm going to take this to the sister. Extended reading. Okay, cards falling all in my lap. What else is going on? Okay, I'm going to take this to the extended. We got justice. When I tell you karma is coming in and it's a nightmare for some. Big Libra energy on the justice and nightmare energy here. Yeah. What... This being exposed, what this person was doing, somebody literally could have broken into somebody's house here. What they were doing to a star seed, you're not from this world, divine feminine. Somebody wanted you to out the way, but they wanted to block and destroy you as you were out the way here. This person is living a nightmare. Insidious energy. Yeah, they learning a lesson. Come through, spirit. Live and learn. They learning a lesson. Put this big justice energy here. Okay. There could be a legal situation going on. Okay. What's this mountain? Chaos, delays. This occultist in reverse. Love offer. There's a love offer that's being pulled back. There's a karmic contract that is coming to an end. Bounce back. This occultist is dealing with a major backfire here for all this chaotic work that they were doing. Let's see what's going on. Yeah. They were praying. This person is praying. Somebody's praying for sweet dreams. They're having nightmares. Come through, spirit. We got libation energy. We got sweet dreams. Don't forget justice. Karma is nightmare. Their karma is living a nightmare. Somebody is, who have, this occultist can't even sleep right. They're being haunted. Come through, spirit. Double confirmation on haunted. They are stressed. Somebody didn't want you to be able to sleep right. What did I say? Didn't I say that they wanted you to have some kind of illness? Somebody tried to manifest the illness on you, Divine Feminine. Somebody found out that something happened to you and this was good news to them. Everything has backfired. Everything has backfired. Okay. I can't. I can't make this up. Child. Okay. Come through, spirit. <laughs> I cannot. What else? What else? They were planning this. Yeah, they were planning this. And look at that. In this introvert energy, you can see these two people have their backs against each other. Right here, it says separate. This was good news. Schedule, they planned this. This was good news. We have a reconciliation or a separation that was, that was orchestrated or a reconciliation that was delayed. Manifestation, celebration, these people were planning this. This was good news, but now, they're finding out that something didn't work. There's evidence of them planning this. Come through. Mentor in reverse. Okay, there's an occultist that was exposed here. The person that taught this other occultist, this kitchen occultist, how to whip up this, this energy. Or somebody gave advice on how to puppet this whole situation. This person is being exposed. This person is mad. We got evidence, a coach, and fury. This person is being exposed. They're pissed. Come through, spirit. I can't. I can't. I just came with these people. These people are pissed. Now, let's see what else. Okay, we're going to get to the zodiac signs. And then I'm going to go into the extended reading. We're going to see how this plays out. We're going to see what's next. 
here for this situation. What's going on for Divine Feminine? That would be in the extended sister reading for this reading. Everything you need to know about that is in the description box below. Okay, let's just take it how it came because that felt like, it just feels like I need all of this. Yeah, this devil was warned to not mess with you. Come through. We got a devil. Pay attention to the signs. Come through. Double confirmation. Limits exposed. Caution regarding. God warned them. This devil was warned. Big Capricorn energy. They were warned, Divine Feminine. They were warned that you were an earth mother here. You could be taking spiritual baths. You could be doing return to senders. You could be reading in your Bible, Divine Feminine. You could literally always praise in the Most High God. Or you could just be divinely protected. It's in your blood. They didn't know that you were earth mother. That you come from the earth. You have a purpose. And now this person is realizing that they sacrificed themselves. Come through spirit. Yeah, come through. Deep rooted pain and grief and sacrifice. This divine masculine is in pain. But this death is in major pain. We gonna clarify that. They didn't see something. They didn't see something. That you were protected. We got a protection ritual and we have destined lovers. Somebody's going after your contracts, Divine Feminine. They didn't realize with the, with the will and contracts being here that there was already an adjustment made in your contracts. Okay. I cannot. Let's get into the zodiac signs. Okay. They were doing too much. What just flipped over? Three of swords, baby. Somebody could be having a blood issue, finding this out, child. What were they doing? Set themselves up. Let's see what zodiac signs are involved here, and then we'll get to the um, extended sister reading, okay? Let's see what signs are involved here. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, north, node. What signs are involved here? Sun, moon, rising, Venus, north, node. This could be your sign, divine feminine. This could be divine masculine sign. This could be one of the karmic signs. Okay, so let's see what's going on. What signs are involved here? Child, he's reading. Big Taurus energy coming out. 54 could be significant. 45, April 5th, April 15th, May 14th, May 15th, May 16th, April 16th, April 25th, May 25th. The number nine, the month of September. September 4th, September 5th could be significant here. September 8th. I don't know why I want to say Scorpio. There's tension here. There's a lot of tension here. These people can't believe it. Child, what? <sighs> okay, this reading here, a little different, but y'all already know, you know, when it start coming in, it just start coming in. Okay, so let's see. What else? What the sign could be involved here? We got a Taurus. Second time we saw Taurus. Aries energy. Second time we saw Aries as well. This is Taurus Aries customer involved here. There's definitely a divine masculine involved here. Scorpio energy at the bottom again. Capricorn showing up. There's tension now because somebody acting different. I just heard somebody acting funny. There's a divine masculine who's biting his tongue. He's acting funny. He don't want to serve these people anymore. January 5th, January 4th could be significant. January 14th, January 15th, April 1st. January 25th, January 24th, somebody's acting funny and it's causing problems. We got cancer energy showing up. There's a partnership. Somebody's acting funny in a relationship. That's what I said. Come through spirit. There's a karmic lover who lost control. 31st could be significant. The 31st could be significant. March 1st could be significant here. March 11th, 113 could be significant here. 131. 4, 411, information, somebody's calling for information. Somebody want spiritual help. Why did I see cancer? That's Gemini. Oh, goodness. Okay. Huh. There could be a Gemini cancer cusper involved here. Somebody could be in a partnership with a cancer. There's something surrounding a cancer or a Gemini's partnership. Okay. Hmm. I mean, just pick up cancer like that. There's a cancer involved here somewhere. Somebody got a strong cancer placement. Cars flipping everywhere. What else? Taurus, Aries, Gemini, and an invisible cancer. 
Sir. Cancer involved. Another Gemini. There are twins involved here. Multiple couples involved here. Multiple soul contracts involved here. Karmic contracts and divine contracts. Hold on. Let's keep going. What? 333 three, three could be significant. You could be seeing that. 111 one could be significant. You could be seeing that. March 30th could be significant. Let's see. April 30th. Okay, let's see. What other signs could be involved here? Taurus energy. Taurus again. Double Taurus. The 21st could be significant here. May 21st, April 21st. February 1st, February 12th. February 14th, February 15th. February 11th. Beloved. Somebody, okay. I got beloved, tension, and act, and partnership. Divine Feminine, somebody got very pissed off and immediately started taking action against you when they found out about this contract with you and this masculine. When they found out that this was a divine contract or something like that, somebody, or somebody just always been pissed, or somebody don't like the way you act, they're jealous of you, they don't like your energy. Okay. What else? Well, we're going to get through these signs. Virgo energy. This card talks about digest. Did I say somebody was eating something they had no business eating? Look at that. At the bottom, it talks about digest. Over here, by this love offer. You could have told somebody, don't trust somebody food here. You could have told this divine masculine. He ignored a warning. That's why he over here getting hit with this Saturn energy. Okay? What else? Got a Virgo involved here. Who else? Double on the Aries energy. Man, this could be about your twin flame. There's twins here. There could literally be twins here. Double Virgo, double Taurus, double Aries. This could just be how many people is here. There could be six people involved here. Let's see. What else? Okay. Capricorn energy. October 6th could be significant here. June 10th. October 3rd. Halloween could be significant. April 6th. March 6th. June 15th. October 15th. 21st. October 11th. October 9th. What else? Somebody achieved their downfall. Again, we got Libra energy. And it came out in reverse. Talks about balance. Karma is here. October 7th could be significant. July 10th, July 6th, July 16th, July 19th, 15th, 11th, 21st. What else? Ooh, I'm going to take this one. Aquarius energy. Yeah. Somebody, uh, there was an unequal situ give and take situation here. Something is being brought to balance here. November 7th, November 17th. 27th could be significant here. November 23rd, November 9th, 6th, 13th could be significant here. One more. Okay. Double on the Libra energy. Mars at the bottom. Aries energy. Okay. That's it. Come through, Spirit. There could be a Taurus, Aries, Gemini, Virgo, Capricorn, Libra, Aquarius. And we had that Cancer energy. What is this? What is this? Sagittarius. Sagittarius energy. Somebody could be seeing 222. Two, two. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, north node, seventh house placement. You guys. Whew. Okay. That was a little different. Y'all, let me know how this resonates in the comments below. Because I need to know. Okay, I'm going over to the extended sister reading, you guys. Premium members, as usual, you get free access to all of my extended um, and premium readings. Non-premium members, there's a link in the description box there for you as well. I'll also pin a link in the comment section below. Okay, make sure you guys thumbs up the video. Make sure you guys share the video. Share the video on your Facebook, on your LinkedIn, TikTok, Twitter, wherever you're able to share. That's how YouTube knows you love my videos. That's how I know you love my videos. When you share my videos, hit the thumbs up. Don't forget comments below and I will catch you on the next one. Bye.